All right, guys, we're heading home. Favorite game total on this Major League Baseball slate. 14 games to choose from. Paul, talk to me. I'll give you two of them. The game total at eight and a half between the O's and the Jays will be easy pickings tonight, as I expect the Jays' offense to be in high gear. And the O's come in feeling pretty good about themselves, too, after taking two out of three from Boston, like I said. Take the over in that one. The Giants continue to roll along on top of the NL West and have carved out a six-game winning streak most recently while limiting opponents to 14 runs in that stretch. I think that trend continues tonight against San Diego, a club that has lost their last six games. I'm counting on the Padres starter Joe Musgrove to keep a lid on things. He's had a string of six of seven quality starts. I'll take the under eight run total here tonight. All right, Kenny. I'm going to go with the over in Red Sox Nats. It's all the way at nine and a half, but I still like it. The Eduardo Rodriguez has uh, really struggled over the last month or so. A bit of roller coaster ride coming off a, a shaky outing against the Yankees. But really, the, the bigger reason I like this is Josh Rogers and his 90 mile an hour fastball. That's how he pitches to contact. It's not going to go so well for him against the Red Sox lineup that seems to have woken up. Can hit left-handed pitching. And the Nationals, in their own right, have been very good against lefties all year long. It's been the best spot to back them. So I think that both of these offenses can have some success and uh, go over the total by a few runs. Matt, favorite game total tonight? So I'm looking at some of the same spots as Kenny. I basically agree strongly with about half of it and disagree with the other half. So I kind of like the under in the Boston-Washington game, actually. And a lot of it is just the weather. I know I've, I've been harping on weather a bit um, lately, but Washington is a hitter's park generally because it's really hot and humid there. Tonight, it's getting colder. Winter October, it's going to be like 60 degrees. Um, I don't think Josh Rogers is good, but I also, also Boston is losing their DH tonight, which means J.D. Martinez may not be in the lineup. So I am kind of taking a wait-and-see approach with a lot of these games where it's just, let's see who's in the lineup. I think there's a lot of uncertainty across the board. Um, but the one thing I do agree with Kenny a lot more is I think the over is a good spot in the Yankee game, and it mostly comes from that Yankee side. So like, I just think this offense is much better than what's being projected here. Um, I don't like McClanahan that much. But I also think Nestor Cortez is a little bit overrated. And again, this will depend on the lineup. So if the Rays run out their A lineup, which they have done here and there, the Rays have been locked into the AL East for about a week now. Um, Nelson Cruz plays some games, rests some other games. Um, so assuming he's in there, if some, more of the regulars are in there, I think you can go to the over there. But basically, I'm waiting to see the starting lineup for just about any game tonight. And these are kind of just where I'm leaning pending these starting lineups come out.